Hey guys, it's Graham. Again, I wanted to come up with a, a simple method for drilling the holes in the U-channel extrusion for uh, anyone who just has the minimum of uh, tools available to them. So I created some jigs in order to do that. You can print these out and the STL files for these are on my website now. And the first one is to drill the row of bottom holes for mounting the rail itself. The way you would do that is you would insert that and slide it into the channel. I do accept the fact that um, this is the aluminium U channel that I purchased uh, locally in other countries and other manufacturers of this uh, same dimension these may vary just slightly. So it may be that when you print this out, it could be a little sloppy or it could be even more tight. You may have to just sand that off a little bit so that it fits in, or if it fits in too loosely, you may just have to put a couple of little bits of paper or something in there just to space it out. But the idea is that you slide that in and you've got it like that, and then you can uh, basically take your drill and just drill down pilot holes down through there and uh, you'll be pretty right. Now, I would suggest that you uh, wrap a bit of tape around that so that it doesn't slide around. The holes that I've uh, programmed in the STL file for these is 2.5 millimetres. 2.5 millimetres is the correct hole size for tapping 3 millimetre holes in the, uh, in the bottom. So the next uh, part of the process is, once you've got those done, this is the piece for the, uh, the side holes. And what you do is you sit the U-channel on top of that, and you know you've got it the right way around because the height of that will be the same as that. And again, put a bit of tape on it. I've also put a little mark where the center is so that if you want to line it up, if your U-channel is not exactly 100 millimeters, and this is 100 millimeters from there to there, um, you can just mark the center point and then you can line this up for the center point. You could even take a couple of little clamps and this in position so once you've got that lined up you could put a clamp in there to clamp that into position and then you can go through again these are 2.5 millimeter holes just as pilot holes so you could drill those in and put those holes in there and then once you take that off you'd swap that around do the other side and then these I would recommend once you've done that, change the drill over to say four millimeter, even though it's a three millimeter screw that's going in there to hold the T-nuts. I would give a little bit of play and it doesn't matter. I would drill these probably four millimeters, maybe even 4.5 if you want to, because that still will give enough for the head to, uh, to grip onto. So now once that is done and you've got those side holes drilled, you can slide this back in again and you've got these marks here and you can see if um, you've got those in the right place using this as well. So it's a, just a double check. So once you've done all of that, you will then tap the bottom holes m3 now i suggest if you don't have an m3 tap that you get an m3 spiral tap uh, they're much easier to use you can literally just screw those straight in you don't have to do it half turn back it off half turn back it off and also use a little bit of um, oil to lubricate the tap so you get a nice thread in the aluminium if i'm doing uh, quite a few of these i will take that tap out and i'll put it in a um, an electric screwdriver like this and uh, then I will just um, do the holes like like that and that and uh, away you go 
Now, once you've done all of that, this is just a short bit of rail I chopped off. You put that in there. The holes in the rail here, I've measured them, they're around four millimetres. So actually just a fraction less than four millimetres. A four millimetre screw won't get too into it. So you're gonna use, as previously advised, M3 screws into there. And I suggest uh, stainless steel screws. So put that on there, then you're going to use this guide which you would have printed up, which aligns this into the center. And then you would put the screws in. Um, if you've got, I suggest two of these, one at each end, and then put the screws in because this, without the guide, that still would have, have a little bit of play. So put that in, another one at this end, dropping your, the screws that you need to secure the linear rail to the U-channel aluminium and you're all set to go. So I hope that makes it a little bit simpler for those people um, that don't want to mess around with measurements and making sure everything's in the center. STL files for these are posted on the my website now and they're in the bottom of the page for download. So uh, there you go. Hope you uh, can make use of that.